Something big has happened. No, something maximum has happened. You can now change the y-axis based on an expression. So we could have our user typing in the maximum to change it. Or even better, we could have the maximum set as an expression so it always gives us the biggest y-axis that we need. Well, in this y is short, I'm gonna show you how. As always, we're starting off with a nice, simple report. And the aim of the game for this one is to allow my user to actually type in a value, and we're going to use that to dictate our endpoint. To do this, I'm going to go up to the Modeling tab, and from the Modeling tab, choose New Parameter. New Parameter does a couple of things. First thing it's actually going to do is generate a list of numbers, and then it's going to create a parameter that we can use to capture whatever that list has been filtered to. So I'm going to call this as chart max. So I can see that the endpoint for this is sitting around about 20,000. So I'm actually going to leave it at zero to 20. That'll give me a nice range that they can actually choose from. I want to increment in ones and the default I'm going to have will be the 20, which is going to be the maximum. I'm also going to add a slicer to let my user change what this list is. Once that's loaded in, you can see over here on the right hand side, I have a brand new table called chart max and it lists out the numbers zero to 20. There's also a measure which is showing me the selected value, i.e. the value that my user chose with the default being 20. So if they don't choose anything, it's going to be 20. So I'm going to put that over next to my chart. I can leave the slider for my user to control this endpoint with, or if I want, I can actually turn that off and leave them only with an input box. So I've got a way of telling what my user has chosen and a way to communicate with them. Now, all I need to do is fix this as the end point. So if I click on my visual, go down to the Y axis, and then you'll see the end now has that all important FX symbol. Give that FX a click. Use the drop down, go to your chart max or whatever you called your chart and choose chart max value which is going to be 20 which is a little bit low for me so i'm going to click ok and suddenly instead of having a line chart i've got a line because it stopped at 20. so i'm going to go over to my chart max value which is the one that dax made for me and i'm going to multiply this by 1000 that way my default is now that original 20,000 that we saw hit return, and voila, we're back to our standard chart. My user can now come over here and they can actually change this endpoint. So if they wanted to change it to say 15,000, they could type in 15, hit return, and boom, my axis has changed. This is gonna be really useful when they combine this with different types of filtering. So if, for example, they added in a little slicer that allowed them to swap, say, which region they were looking at. Now, when I choose a region, my chart will obviously be decreased by whatever value that shows. And if I want to reduce that endpoint, I could type in, say, 3, and that'll take my endpoint down to that 3000 mark. So that's the first way that we can do it. It works, but it does require a certain level of intervention from my user. So I'm not going to use that method. I'm going to switch to dynamic end. In this case, what I would like to do is have my forecast and profits. I want its maximum value to be whichever year got the highest So to do this, I need to work out which year has the highest. Go to your measure table, right click, new measure. And I'm gonna call this chart end equals. First, I actually need to create the option of showing each year and its sales, or in this case, profit. 
I would like to return the maximum here. So it's going to be max, and because I want the maximum of an expression, it's going to be max x. I need to create the table showing each of my financial years. So I'm going to say add columns, and I want to add columns, and I would like a distinct list of my financial years. So I'm going to say distinct, and I want my financial year. That's going to return a single column of my financial year. So it's effectively going to be a table that has just six columns in it. Of course, right now, this table is being filtered by whichever column it's actually on. So not only do I want the distinct list, but I want the distinct of the entire list. So I'm going to use all to remove the filter caused by whichever column I'm on in the chart. Now I've got my table all sorted, I need the name of my new column. So my new column is going to be called Profits comma, and the calculation I want to perform is my measure profits. Close my bracket, comma, and then the maximum I want is I want the max of my brand new column, also called profits. Close the bracket, and I also want it 10% higher, so I'm going to do multiplied by 1.1. So that's going to return whichever one of my financial years is the maximum, and it's going to multiply it by 10%. Hit return. Before I go in and stick this into my visual, I'm going to make sure that it's working by adding it into a card that I'm going to present on my report. I'm then going to add in my brand new measure which was called chart end. Give that a tick. It's returning right about 20,000, which is my highest value, 19,075 plus 10%. So with that working, I can now add it into my report. So if I click onto my visual, go to the format roller, go back down to Y axis, choose the end point FX, choose from my measure table, the chart end, and click OK. With that applied, I now have, no matter what filters I apply in terms of the financial years, I'm always going to return that 20.98. But what happens if I then apply a filter from, say, the region? I'm going to click on London. Suddenly, it's not quite working because it's showing me the maximum based within the region filter, which is fine, but we could already achieve this. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to remove the filter caused by this region name. So back over to your measure. And this time we want to calculate our max, but we want to work it out for all of the regions. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to say calculate. What do I want to calculate? I want to calculate my max calculation, comma. The filter that I want to remove is I would like all region names instead of just those region names. Close my bracket for all, close my bracket for calculate, hit return. And you'll see now my y-axis, regardless of how many of these regions I choose, is always giving me that original highest value for any of the financial years. If you have lots and lots of these filters, maybe you've got loads of slicers, one thing that you could also consider is actually telling it all purchase. Because the measure profits actually works off of the purchase table. If I say all purchase, that removes every filter. Obviously be careful of this because you'll need to be thinking of all versus all selected versus all except, depending on which filters you want to remove. But if you just want a quick and dirty effective method, you can always do all and on whichever table you're actually performing the calculation over. I hope you found this upgrade as useful and as exciting as I did. It's something I've been asking for for years at this point. If you plan on using this, leave in the comments below. 
Otherwise, I'll see you next time.